Universal Foam Products has been providing EPS Geofoam and our leave-in-place riser form system for the construction of movie theaters, lecture halls, and churches for many years. The system installs faster than steel framing and metal decking and provides some acoustical properties as well. The following slides will give you a step-by-step -step journey through the installation process of the geofoam blocks and the riser form system. When you do a takeoff on your project, each unique block will be listed separately and labeled. When the project is ordered, a drawing will be provided with the blocks labeled and each block will also be labeled when it arrives at the job site. The first layer of geofoam is installed with construction adhesives securing the blocks to the concrete floor to avoid lateral movement. After the first layer is installed, geofoam gripper plates are placed in between the balance of the layers. The steel gripper plates are installed by pressing them into the foam by hand or with the sole of a work boot. Two to three plates should be used for every four foot by eight foot block. If cutting of the geofoam is required, it can be accomplished with a hand saw or a reciprocating saw or one of several different hot knife and hot wire cutting tools that we have available. Grooves for conduit can be cut with a razor knife or a hot knife groove cutter. Once all the blocks are set, you're ready to install the leave-in-place steel riser form system. The riser forms are made of 16 gauge steel with a 90 degree bend at the bottom and 135 degree lip at the top to lock in the concrete when it is poured. The last form in each row will usually need to be cut to fit on site. Every 24 inches on center and at all riser form joints, a 90 degree angle bracket is riveted to the back side of the steel. Steel spikes are used to secure the angle bracket to the geofoam. Use three spikes per bracket and install them at a slight angle towards the riser form. It is the spikes that secure the risers in place during the concrete installation. The first tier riser form can be secured at the bottom by screwing into or in front of the lip at the bottom. When all of the forms are installed, including the step forms, you're ready for concrete. Now it's time for the pump truck. A big advantage of using Universal's leave-in-place forms over conventional forms is that you can begin placing concrete at the top tier and work your way down, only requiring a pump truck one time per theater or lecture hall. With conventional forming, you would need to pour every other tier, and after the concrete sets, Set your forms for the alternate tiers requiring the pump truck for two days. I hope you found this information informative. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 410-498-0000. Thank you.